Doctors of Reddit, what is the weirdest thing you have walked in on a patient doing while they were waiting for you to see them? A 16 year old girl planking on the medical waste bin while her father took photos. On cell phone forgive spelling, I'm a RN. I spent my first year nursing working on a high acuity surgical floor. A man in his early 20 came in for a small bowel obstruction and had the longest psych history I had ever seen. Day 1 after his surgery he wasn't my patient, but I was covering my co-worker's break who was his nurse. 10 minutes after she left I decided to do a quick round of the unit, just to make sure everyone was still breathing and comfortable. When I went into his room the I saw was the closest thing I ever seen to a real life go to horror movie. Somehow he had managed to get his handles on a pair of scissors. He had started cutting into his new ostomy, ripped out all of his stitches, and had just randomly stabbed himself places on his abdomen. He had also straight pulled out his catheter with the ball to get it in place intact so there was a huge blood pool around his genitals on the sheets. When I walked in he stopped and stared at me for a second before stabbing himself again. I ran my ass out of there pretty quick and called security. Still get random flashbacks of that moment when I watch really gross horror movies. It's not uncommon for me to walk in on patients touching the skeleton. It's actually a replica of my own mother's bones. She was a doctor as well, so it's always funny to see their reaction when I tell them to get their hands off my mom. Haha. <laughs> the doctor walked in on me cowering in my chair, holding my legs to my chest, because a big ass motherfucking spider suddenly appeared in the corner, trapping me in the room. As soon as she walked into the room I screamed kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. I saw the oh shit in her face when she saw it. It scurried out of the room. So she shut the door and a few seconds later I heard some scraping and a few loud stomps. She came back in and said good thing we already took your blood pressure. Huh. She's my favorite doctor. Colon closed bracket. I'm actually a doctor. As a med student, an inpatient psych rotation walked into the patient's room and she was lying on the floor masturbating with her shoe. That was inpatient psych though so let's just move past it. The weirdest thing in my office was this guy messing with the paper towels. It wasn't really overall weird, just funny. I walk in, and the sink is running, and the guy is bent over it with about two thirds of a whole paper towel roll flowing all over the place. I just kinda gave him that WTF look. And he was like, it just kept coming I don't know. Ripped the loudest, door rattling fart at the exact moment the doctor opened the door. I got the wow, that's actually impressive look. He then proceeded to laugh and ask me about my diet. My favorite was an unruly drunk who had been exposing himself in public when he was detained by police, who evidently needed to use pepper spray to subdue him. He was squirming around on the stretcher, cuffed to one of the side rails in a paper gown yelling I'm sorry y'all, but my dick is on fire. Also, different guy, whacking it, in trauma bay 3 in the air. Not even a psych patient, just a dude who really needed to have his way with himself while waiting on emergent medical attention. Though this pales in comparison to story I got from one of our most hardened nurses, dude jerks off while in a hallway bed. To completion. Bless her heart, when the spudge hit the floor all she did was look at the guy and say you'd better be cleaning that up because I'm sure as hell not. Close bracket. When I was a medical student, I was on rotation in the emergency department. I picked up the chart for the next patient I was going to see and glanced at the chief complaint, chest pain. Pretty run of the mill. I walk over to the bay and pull back the curtain. There she is, sitting on the stretcher, devouring a bucket of KFC. I once walked into the room of an elderly woman who had been given sutures in her right forearm after a fall. She was sitting upright in bed tearing the skin off of her arm, and had already ripped up all of the skin with sutures in it. From what I gathered, she was unhappy with the dressing, and after unraveling it with her teeth, kept pulling on whatever she could get her teeth on. Then there was the woman I discovered in the private waiting room pushing 8 inch cotton swabs, long q-tips, up into her vagina. 14 of them. Went to check on my patient, he came in with some sort of stomach bug. Anyway he wasn't in his bed, but I could hear him from the bathroom, asked him if he was okay, and he said he made a bit of a mess. No problem, gowned and gloved. Went in. 
he shit all over three of the walls and all over the floor. I had to get help to clean up a bit, and then got sat to come in afterwards, and finish the job. Honestly if it wasn't so disgusting and foul smelling I would actually say that's quite an accomplishment. Shit was nearly to the roof. Once when I was on rounds in a nursing home where I worked to help out the regular MD with his overload of patients, I entered a male patient's room to find him holding a nurse up against the wall by her neck. She told me later that he had gotten sexually aggressive, and when she told him to stop he simply picked her up by the neck and smashed her against the wall. Her feet were off the floor when I arrived, and she was bruised and upset. Nurses get treated this way all the time. Not a doctor, but I play college football at a pretty big school in Canada. We had a team medical, so we would all walk into the team doctor's office one by one in our underwear slash compression shorts slash skilt, etc. And get a checkup. One guy was caught by the team doc trying to steal syringes by hiding them in his shorts. Literally stuffing them centimeters away from his family jewels. I'm a PTA. I walked in on a patient who had removed all his own clothes, bedsheets, and the immediate surrounding room's clothing, and proceeded to finger paint them all with shit, feel bad about it, and try and wash them in the toilet, the toilet tank, and sink. Yeah. He's on the locked unit. It's an adventure every day. Not a doctor. Respiratory therapist here. Nevertheless a newer nurse that I had become friendly with asked me to go into a patient's room with her. She explained that whenever she went in alone, she would find her patient, a man in his 60s, openly masturbating. Really creepy, apparently. Who knew? Her logic was that he would stop if a man came in the room with her. I said I would do it and sure enough, he was punishing himself pretty intensely. Contrary to her theory, this old creepy fuck kept going, maintaining complete eye contact with me. Gay chicken to the extreme. I simply walked out and informed her that I had other patients to see. Eventually, he ended up in restraints. Not a doctor. I work in a hospital, though. A friend of mine was admitted for cardiac issues to a telemetry unit, a type of monitor that continuously sends vitals to the nurses. My friend decided it would be a good idea to have a fuck buddy come to visit him in the hospital. She starts off giving him a hand job, and it escalates to head. As he's about to finish, I guess his vitals began to change, and the monitor sent an alert to the nurse. She runs and finds him ejaculating into this chick's mouth. The old and rather large nurse slows backs out of the room and most likely went to take a shower. He was discharged the next day. Early one morning on rounds I walked into the room of an elderly woman who had been admitted a couple days before. She had removed her ostomy bag, smeared the contents all over herself, and was rubbing her hands together with shit all over them. I walked in quickly and asked, Mrs. Smith, not her real name, what are you doing? She replied, I'm washing my hands. Dementia is a terrible thing was looking after somebody with a paracentesis drain, small drainage tube that goes through skin into abdominal cavity, to drain free abdominal fluid. When I walked into his room he was bent over with his lips around the end of the tube. I asked him what the hash percent he was doing, and he replied drain was blocked, so I'm blowing into it to unblock it. It worked last time. Once I feel the bubbling I just siphon, until I get fluid. Shortly after that we began treating him for the inevitable infection of this abdominal fluid. I was moonlighting in an attack, mostly ventilator dependent patients or complex wound management, when a very confused man kept screaming for a nurse. He wasn't my patient, and his assigned nurse was very territorial. I had had enough, and went to see what he wanted, knowing full well that other nurse would get pissed at me. When I walked in the room. The old man shoved his urinal towards me and lamented that it was the worst damn ginger ale he'd ever tasted. Then he took another huge gulp. I took the urinal away and wouldn't you know she came up to me later and fussed at me because he said I took away his ginger ale. <laughs> damn it Jim I'm not a doctor. But I was getting a giant bruise on my leg checked out Wednesday and while waiting for the doctor wearing nothing but a tarp, nurse's orders, I fell asleep on the bed thing. Apparently a different nurse that proceeded to open 
and then hold open a door to usher in a girl my age who then woke me up jumping back screaming and going oh my gosh I'm so sorry I'm so so sorry. I was confused at first until I realized the tarp had blown off of me when the nurse opened the door thus revealing my cold and slightly shriveled man meat and part of my rectum to a girl I'm pretty sure I had a class with last semester. My mom used to be a third shift admitting clerk as part of her duties when a new baby was born to document the birth and register names. A young couple just had a baby hours ago and were already going at it on the hospital bed when my mom walked in. She swears she knocked and announced herself, but they were otherwise engaged. She has tons of these stories apparently crazy shit went down on third shift. Washing her feet in the exam room sink. Patient here. Thought I would share mine. Had to go to the pathology lab. Old guy is in there with a 3 year old. Probably his grandson. Grandson is licking the door to the pathology laboratory. Grandfather is saying nothing. Doctor here. During my surgery rotation, I saw a lady with a wound on her leg that had maggots crawling out. Literally hundreds of them. All over the place. Took four of us to remove whatever we could see. She didn't seem to think anything was wrong. And it was the norm to have a maggot farm in a wound. I actually forgot this story from my first year of studying. I was out on placement for the very first time at a local nursing home. And they decided to put me in the dementia slash high care area. I was walking around with one of the nurses, and she was introducing me to everyone. There was this one lady in her late 50s who weighed about 130, 140 kilograms took a real liking to me. I remember her saying oh my, who are you? And I told her, and she literally started masturbating in front of me whilst staring into my eyes. Now of course it would be rude of me to interrupt, so I let her finish, not really. Anyway I went back to the nurse, and she said we should get everyone ready to do their activities. I saw the big lady about 10 minutes later reading a magazine. I didn't think anything of it, until I saw her lick her fingers to turn the page. My mother was a nurse's aide at an old folks home. She told me she saw an old man pulling mucus out of his tracheotomy hole, and then eating it. I was getting an eye exam, and after a few tests was put in a room, to wait for the drive. To check my prescription. After waiting for what seemed like a long time I got bored. While looking at the side of the exam chair I noticed the control panel. Naturally I'm very curious about how high this chair will raise. I figured I had time, so I try to find out how high I could go. But just as I'm almost to what I think, maybe the top, the drive, walks through the door and stops short with an amused slash, puzzled expression on his face. Busted. I laughed nervously and lowered the chair. The exam went well after that initial embarrassment though. I know I'm probably not the only idiot that's ever tried that, but I think most don't get caught like I did. I needed to check rectal tone, read, stick my finger up her ass on a 40 i y slash o patient with a spine injury in the head after a car accident. With a completely straight face she said that she needed a minute to remove something out of there. I stepped out and asked the nurse to assist her with her endeavor. The nurse came out a few minutes later with a golf ball sized baggie of some powder wrapped in a condom. She refused to tell me what it was. I didn't care. The ed docs were going to sort that out. Proceeded with my exam and then left. I was at the gyno for my pregnancy. Doctor tells me I'm gaining too much weight and I need to eat for one. Five not for two. Root. Anyway, he left to go get something, and I tried my best not to cry, but I could help it. There I'm hysterically crying when he walks in the room, and of course he felt bad. Once when I was a child, six or so, I was taken for my dental appointment. I have no memory of this, my mother loves to tell this story. Apparently the dentist put the gas on me and handed me the cast model of a jaw and upper teeth. Apparently the valve got an extra quarter twist, because when he came back in the room I was kicked over sideways in the chair singing with a teeth model. He closed the door, walked to the waiting room, and told my mother that there was something she needed to see. I'm a CNA. I'll probably think of a dozen more bizarre stories than this one I hit post, and one of the funniest things was when we had two older women sharing a room. The one was a dementia part and the other was on bed rest. The woman on bed rest rang out via call bell, I think someone should come down here. When I got to the room, 
I saw that the dementia part had pooped all over the floor before making it to her neighbor's bedside, hands lathered in fesses, to sit down and ask if that poor woman was thirsty. When the dementia part saw me, she just smiled and laughed, but that emotion wasn't mutual because her friend on bed rest had a look of horror in her eyes. Another, sadistically, amusing moment was when two male PTS were sharing a room. They were both incredibly atrophied BC of lack of muscle use, constant, uninterrupted drug abuse, which became evident when they memorized their pain med schedule, but couldn't remember my name. Neither had the strength to lift their TV remote, yet I once walked by their room while they argued to hear one threaten the other, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna kick your ass. Finally, I remember a male part of sound mind who was a smoker and shared a room with a quadriplegic who had a trash. Obviously, we don't allow smoking in the hospital, but on my rounds one night I smelled fresh cigarette smoke. It came from that room, so I asked the guy if he had smoked. He said no, he just took his jacket out of the closet, he'd been here for a week, mind you, and that's what I smelled. I told him how unlikely that was, so he changed his story and blamed his neighbor. I couldn't think of any way to react other than to close my eyes, rub my temples, and ask, really? An aesthetist here. I walked in a birthing room to place an epidural. I found the father furiously masturbating the spread eagled mother who was really getting off, really working her lady button, and caressing her boobs. I had knocked, they didn't stop. I locked eyes with the mother. The father ignored me. I had been warned that they were trying to increase her arxitocin levels via orgasm. But I was unprepared. I said sorry and noped right out the door. Her RN found me sitting quietly in my office and said, they're done for the moment. Can you come back? Thank god I got the epidural placed in record time. Please don't include me into your personal weirdness. Okay, so I have so many stories I could write a book. One in specific was a part who was a self-proclaimed antichrist. I walked in his room to do rounds, and he had cut himself and smeared blood all over his sheets, walls, and body. He was chanting some boo goo satanic words. But, it was so much blood I thought he had murdered someone. I had just left him about 10 minutes ago, so my curiosity set in on where all that blood came from. I looked around, lifted the covers and the freaking kid cut his femoral artery, seriously had to call rapid response team and luckily saved his life he was crying like a little baby. Weirdest and dumbest thing ever. I'm not a doctor, but I had a rather large budger in my nose. I had to urge to pick it, don't act like you don't pick your nose. Later doctor comes in with a huge grin, which made me paranoid the whole time, 